Hi, today I will show you how you can uh, color animation using a, using a key. So here yeah, I will just um, I'll just give you the Gangnam animation, and I will show you how you can uh, uh, call the animation or uh, uh, stop the animation using a key. Uh, I will give you two ways to do it. You can do it uh, directly using the the character uh, inside the character uh, blueprint, so so inside Max or um, inside the level blueprint. Uh, but first of all, I will just uh, fix uh, some problem that I see about uh, the Lux tutorial. The problem, like, uh, for example, you can see that Max is floating. Um, that is because she's a, the mesh is a bit more high than the capsule component. And because it's a capsule who collide with, uh, with the ground, uh, you will have the, the mesh will floating like that. So, in this blueprint, you would just go back to the, to the viewport and I would just drag a bit uh, the character, just put the character a bit, uh, the fit a bit out of the capsule. Just complete normally, now you will see that, uh, that she is not floating anymore. And the other stuff is that uh, I will, um, if you can see that you have the, the collision with. Uh, of the camera with, uh, with the object in, in the level uh, is done by um, by the spring arm spring arm of the collision uh, collision test for the camera so in fact if I disable it you will see that uh, the camera will pass through the object that's really something that, uh, that we want in general uh, in games you know that the camera just uh, go push it when she, when, uh, when the camera hurt an object, just collide with an object. So, in the beginning, he was having the, in the last tutorial, he was having the camera was uh, in the center, so the, the string arm was, uh, the point was in the center. In fact, when he was uh, having the collision, uh, the collision was going, uh, the, the camera was pushed in the, in the center, in fact, in the, around the belly of, uh, of Max. It's not so pretty, so what I will do is just to change the point and just put it a bit more high over the head. And uh, we will change even the, the socket offset. Put a bit more down. Oh, that's okay. So, so now, uh, when, when the camera will collide, uh, the camera will be pushed a bit uh, over the head. It's a bit better. Like that, then you don't have the you know, collision. You go push it too much near of the, of the character. So that is done. What I will do now is uh, to create uh, an action mapping for uh, for calls animation, for calls the common animation. I go back to edit, to project setting, to input. I will add uh, the binding. Uh, an action mapping it will call uh, an input and uh, I will use uh, like a key uh, um, a G like Gangnam so that is done what you need to do now is to go to the to the anime blueprint and to call the, the animation so you go to the anime graph in the basic movement, I will create a new state. We we'll call uh, Gangnam. Inside, I will uh, I will go to my asset browser and I will uh, drag my uh, Gangnam animation and connect it. For pass to the blend space to the Gangnam, I will need to, uh, to set a transition. So coming back inside the transition, I will format to a variable. It will call is Gangnam. So when it's true, she will make the animation. And I will 
made uh, another transition coming back from the Gangnam to the blend space that it will be when it will be false so when this Gangnam will be not so when it will be false it will come back to the blend space so just compile and now uh, if you click in true she will start the animation and if you click it back she will come back in false and she will start the animation like you see the transition is not really smooth so what you can do is to, to go to the, to the transition go down to the blend setting and in the duration you can change the, the delay the transition delay of the transition here for example i will put one and maybe for go i will put uh, 0.4 just compile and try back so now she do it, then when I take it off, she do it, she, 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 the transition is a bit more smooth. So that's all for the, for the animation. Now we'll, uh, I, will, I will make the first uh, method. So the first way to do it, it's in the character, character uh, blueprint. It's, uh, it, it's, it's more if you need really to have uh, the animation to be, to be a part of the character and not part of the level. You don't need to. You don't want to call the animation when you are inside the level, but you want to call the animation when you are uh, with the character. So you don't uh, to be a part of the character. So I will do the first, in fact, like that. And after, I will show you to do it inside the level. It's a bit different. So I will call the. I will call the the input. So long name input. And what I will do is uh, I will uh, create a variable. A boolean variable that I will call um, Gangnam variable. So I will set it in true when I click. What you can do is that when you press, you can put it in false. The problem is that when you will press it, when you will press one time, and you will in the moment that you will realize it, automatically she will stop. So we need to stay um, pressed inside the button for she continue to do it. And uh, what you can do is to is to change uh, to change that, making a flip flop, and allow the just uh, just uh, just clicking one time. She will do it. In, she will she will set it true. And uh, when you will click it back, um, she will she will uh, she will set false. The, the variable so uh, I will show you um, how you can uh, use this one for your uh, for your anim animation uh, blueprint so just compile yeah you will have that when you press one time she will start it true when she place press it a second time she will put it false I come back to my max anim blueprint here in the event graph I will cast to my uh, max blueprint so I just need to cast max bp in the object i will connect it to try get power owner so uh, as max bp i will uh, get my uh, my variable so gangnam variable so i just need to get gangnam variable and i will uh, set it for is gangnam variable so uh, when she will click and it will be true he automatically will change this one so of my uh, my transition in true and when i will click it back she will put in false and so here she will uh, it will automatically take it in false we can try it just compile so when i will click in uh, g she will start the, the animation. When I click it back in G, she will stop the animation. It's a uh, it's a way, an easy way to do it in uh, one way to do it in uh, in, uh, in using the character uh, character blueprint. Uh, what you can see even is that uh, if I if I click in in G and uh, start to move, she will move with the animation. And it's not really so much pretty. So what you can do is to, uh, to stop uh, the character movement. 
I will show you how to do it. You just need to, when you will click, I will just get the player controller and uh, I will set in your move input. So true. So when you will click, the character will stop. And uh, when you will release it, when you will click it back, in fact, you will have a, a reset in your move input. So what will happen that you click one time, she will start the animation, the character will be blocked, so you can't move. And when you click it back, um, the character, uh, she will stop the animation, the character will be free to go. So just compile and try it. So if I click in G, it starts the animation. And if I start to want to move in left and right, I can still turn the camera. But if I turn in, in with the arrow in left, right, she don't uh, she don't move anymore. And when I uh, click back in J, uh, you are free to you are free to go. You have another way to do it. It will be to use uh, the speed, and uh, depending of. Uh, of the speed, if the speed is super of, of, of zero, for example, uh, you will have the, you will set the variable like uh, in uh, in false, and she will stop immediately to to make the to make the animation. But here yeah, it's an easy way to do. So, like I want to keep the, the tutorial a bit uh, basic, you can choose it like that. So uh, now I will show you. You can do it with a level blueprint because. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a different way for, for using it in, in the level blueprint. Uh, so I will just delete. Uh, I will disconnect it from uh, from my character, so she will be not able anymore to use it. And uh, I will delete it from uh, from here from the anime, anime blueprint. And I will open the level blueprint. So I will uh, just use my character so I just click on the character click left click right and uh, create a reference to make the print so here you will have the reference of, of the character you will have uh, we need to to get the animal sense and to cast to my uh, to my max anime print And here I will need to set the variable. Uh, so this one is Gangnam to true when I will uh, or to false. So is set is Gangnam to true. I will take back my um, my input action. So Gangnam input. Again with a flip flop. So when I will click one time, she will set it true, and and when I will click back a second time, she will take it false. An object, yes. Let's get an instance. So I just take it off from uh, from my character. I put it to my level, and normally she will do the same. So if I click in G, she will start. And if I click back in G, she will stop. So now she, she can do it in the level blueprint. What what will be good? It will be um, that if, for example, you want to do it uh, when you arrive to a box, to a trigger box, to um, That if she arrives here, well, you can even uh, take the text. I just uh, take it through your box and say uh, when she arrives near the near the text, when she will arrive near the text. Yeah, for example, 
she will start the animation and when she will go out of the text she will uh, she will stop the animation so coming back to the level blueprint i just take it to this one and i will just say that um, we'll add an event a collision so on begin overlap uh, and uh, on end overlap so Like that. <laughs> so we need to cast to max if you want to only max uh, so when she will pass she will start and when she will leave it she will stop so we can try so when you go near she starts when you go out she stop that you can choose it um, with a level with a level blueprint okay thanks all for watching uh, see you soon